Hello everybody, this is Yodi, and today I'm jumping in a plane and I'm going to gonna play a little Flight Simulator X. Uh, this game came back out uh, on Steam over Christmas. I snagged it up because I absolutely love this thing. And uh, then shortly after that I found a wonderful website called FS Economy, which I'll show you a little bit about here when I do my flight planning. And it's love. It's love at 25th site or something. I've flown Flight Simulator for a very, very long time. And I thought I would do a video, just kind of do a short flight, see if uh, see how well it's received, see if I like doing it, and go from there. Uh, the thing about Flight Sim Economy, or FS Economy, is that it is a virtual sort of persistent world that exists uh, website that allows you to basically build up your money to own your own plane in the world. You fly jobs from different airports all over the world. Um, your planes, once you land at a certain spot, that plane has to stay there until it is flown somewhere else. Um, it's all very cool, and I will put a link in the description for you to check it out. Uh, we're going to get flying. I am flying the Haviland Turbo Beaver, as you can see here. Um, now I'm going to apologize. My frame rate isn't great. My graphics aren't great. I don't really have a huge massive system to be able to, to make this all shiny and pretty, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, somebody's delivering. What's going on here? Get stuff. Still, uh, there we go. Oh, it's the donut delivery. Yay. Okay. Um, let's go through these. Okay. So we are going to get our men out of here. Uh, let me talk about flight planning really quick. So I'm going to segue over to that and uh, we'll talk about where I'm at, where I'm going and what we are doing. All right, here we are at the FS Economy website. I'm signed on as Yodi Den. Uh, this is the airport we are at, KMSY. Armstrong, New Orleans International. Uh, I flew up here from the Bahamas, Florida, Panhandle. Came over here from Mardi Gras. Flew a couple flights. Um, and now here I am flying some people out from Mardi Gras. Uh, I'm kind of flying a few days behind real time. So the date is actually the 19th, like two days after Mardi Gras. Uh, for me personally, you, that's just a personal thing I'm doing, uh, just cause. <laughs> so, I have already uh, picked up some passengers. There's these eight um, Bay St. Louis beauties. So eight eight ladies that need to uh, leave New Orleans and get back over to K KHSA. And where's that? You might add that is Stennis International Bay over by Gulfport, Mississippi. Now. Um, I've plotted this out on Skyvector, and uh, we've got about a 30-minute flight, probably, from uh, New Orleans across the uh, the bay here, or I'm sorry, Lake Pont 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 Lake P. And <laughs> yeah, you folks in Nolans are laughing at me right now, aren't you? Uh, over here, this is where we'll be coming down. The airport here I've already looked at is pretty much north-south oriented, so. Depending on the winds, I might kind of fly a little south of our flight plan here, but there we go. That's the planning that I've done. That's where we're going. Like I said, this is just all a test run. So let's get back to the plane and let's go flying. So with all that being said, uh, it is about time for our, uh, what are you doing here, Mr. Truck? You got to keep an eye on this stuff as it's moving around you because I need to, uh, I need to get out of here. I wonder if they've got somebody coming in. I don't uh, let's see. All right, so we are going to uh, now the ATC and FSX X is horrible, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we are going to uh, we're heading to yeah, we'll say the east. That's good enough. New Orleans Brown, Avalon, Charlie Golf, Delta Tango, Bravo, ready to taxi. East departure with Papa. Ah, uh, Papa. Golf, Delta Tango, Bravo, taxi to with That's me talking actually. Oh no, that's the uh, that's the controller, and then I acknowledge. Whee. All right. So I'm a loser. I have to have I have to have progressive taxi on here. So uh, it puts these little very unrealistic uh, yellow lines on the ground. See them back there that tell me where I need to go for takeoff. Yeah. So uh, now the fun part. Um, we're gonna do a little pushback here. This little robot guy is gonna push us out. 
take the brakes off. And we are going to get going. Now, as he does this, I'll talk a little bit. I've already set up the FS Economy um, client to register that I am flying, that my passengers are on board, and all of that good stuff. I already did that already, so we didn't have to go through it. Um, and this thing, go home, go home, little drone thing. Your drone. Well, that's not too bad. I've had worse. All right, I'm gonna send him back. He, oh, good. Now the truck is going to do something. Is it? What are, what are we doing? You gonna roll behind me there? Right. And of course, the little drone thing is going the exact way I need to go. The little drone thing. I'm sure it has a name. <laughs> Not that I know what it is. And as soon as he is out of the way, we are going to get started. I'm sure we don't hit that truck. Yeah, are you out of the way, little drone guy? Little R2 unit? Not really. What are you doing? Not really sure how your wheels work that way. Alright, let's do this. So world-wise, it is approximately, um, in flight sim world, it is approximately 7 in the morning. Uh, and the flight, like I said, is only going to take us about 30 minutes. Heck, it's possible that uh, somebody's taxiing. Sure. Ah, see that Boeing over there is probably wanting to do what we're doing. Um, so let's get taxied here and get on, get on the strip and get airborne. I'm horrible at all this taxing stuff. I spend more time taxiing, I think, than I do in the air. And, uh, I'm just going to apologize for any of you purists out there that are like, oh, he didn't do this. He didn't, he didn't do this properly. And, uh, yeah... I have fun with it, I enjoy it, and I imagine if I would have a really good system, I would uh, totally, I hope that isn't too loud, should totally, uh, let that guy yammer on for a bit. Okay, so we're supposed to hold short here on this runway, and we will contact the tower. Hey tower, quest takeoff, set some flaps. Alright. Now, see, sometimes my, uh, sometimes this gets weird. There we go. I am not using a joystick. I'm a real just, I'm just messing everything up. Yes, I copied. I'm just messing everything up because I actually use a mouse yoke. And why did my, uh, there we go. Silly FSX. Sometimes the tires get stuck. The brakes get stuck. I'm sure I probably have the mechanic look at that. Get lined up here, get this out of the way. We are heading, and our bearing that we're going to head for is uh, 060. Off to the east, let's get this sucker in the air. Come on, there we go. So we'll be, uh, once we get airborne, we'll be taking a uh, banking turn to the right, get lined up and on course with uh, zero 060 zero, zero to the east. And there we go. We are loaded with about, oh, many, many pounds. Uh, we've got eight people on board, so the plane takes a little bit more to get off the ground. We are in the air. I'll turn the ATC off in just a second because it's going to be really annoying as I try and fly this flight. And let's do the bank. Well, 
Well, the weather's cleared up. I have real weather going, uh, so this is the actual weather in New Orleans this morning as I'm flying it. Um, not two days after Mardi Gras on the weekend. So here in a second, ATC will come over and tell us that uh, we don't need to listen to them anymore. And I will be glad to turn that off. And we'll get the GPS fired up here and uh, set up for a while. Clear skies. Love it. Happy day. So while the bank's going, I will get this set up. Whoa, whoa, oh, really geez. big. Derp, 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 derp. All right. Nah, no problem. Now let's roll out as we come up on our bearing. I may not even need the GPS, but a little short. And we're going to throttle back a bit. And so we have... There we go. That's what I want right there. Get a little bit more altitude. I think I want to be at about 2,500. For my flight level, I'm at 1,500 right now. And, uh, oh, good. Passengers have their invisibility cloaks on. Always important. Uh, okay. And I want to... Okay, thanks. We are going to do that. Um, let's just hit a nearest airport here, do St. Charles, and tune to traffic and see what happens. Hopefully it won't be too chatty. Let's see, you want to reduce the mix a little bit, and we'll feather the prop just a little bit. Oh, hello. And I have turned off the yoke so I can see what I was doing. Put that back on. And hey, we're in the air. Pretty steady, gaining some altitude, good flight, speed. Not too worried of anything, so I'm going to get this fired up and do my waypoint, which I should have done, lesson learned, should have done before I left the ground. So we are going to KHSA. Traffic there, a little Airbus flying over, not really a problem. Stennis International, and boom. And then I'm going to set this this way, orient the map to north on my GPS, uh, and then take it in a little bit. Now remember the uh, airstrip is oriented north south, so. Excuse me. I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys like this. I, I love flying. I, I love this. I've been involved and enjoyed vintage aviation for a long time. Um, I love amphibian planes. Um, I've been thoroughly enjoying FS economy and flying my. Let's take a look out the out the back chase plane here. At the Turbo Beaver, I've been flying. I would love to own one of these, and actually, I'm hoping to in the next couple of weeks. I've been saving up my money, my fat loop virtual cash, and uh, pick ourselves up a Turbo Beaver in the real world. And then once we do, um, yeah, I'll get a new, basically a new livery done or a skin, so it's pretty. And um, who knows what I'll do with that. Like I said, my graphics aren't great. One day I will have a system that I will have amazing stellar graphics. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna actually just drop my throttle down, which will hopefully bring me down to a little bit more of a level flight. I'm not gonna worry about altitude adjustment at this point. Fly 
and over the big lake. And let's go ahead and bring that back. So just make sure we're on course. A little off course there. Now I could set the autopilot, but it's not that long of a flight. So let's put the mouse yoke back on. it over there a little bit and it'll adjust for us pretty quickly too oh where was I oh yeah I'm gonna buy gonna buy a turbo beaver at some point and uh, also taking part in something called the Great American Mail Run on FS Economy where I'll be flying a Cessna 172 across the country and we're going to duplicate the old style mail runs um, and I might even do some some footage of that. Um, and I might during some of these, especially maybe this one, just to see how it works. Um, if it's a long flight, I may cut out the middle part, especially if it's like this and not a lot of weather. All flat, boring. I'd like to get some place that's a little bit more enjoyable to fly in. I mean, this is fun and all, and there's lots of water for the amphibian plane to land on. But, uh, yeah. You know. I like mountains. Did a lot of flying back in the Bahamas. That was fun. And this guy. Where are you? Okay. Different views here. I'll show you the, my favorite view. Oh, now see, this is a problem with the mouse yoke. You need to remember that your mouse yoke... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was almost really bad. You have to remember that your mouse yoke is on or horrible, horrible things will happen to you and you'll uh, go to move a menu and all of a sudden you're upside down and falling at like 5,000 feet. Alright, so... Let's... Bring this back around. Now what I think I'm going to do... Uh, cheat a little bit. Let's get an idea of what the... Oh, so there's no wind. I wonder if the what's going on with the weather. Did the weather out on me here, my, my real-time weather, um, it's saying no wind whatsoever, so, well, I've got an easy flight for the first time then, that's fine, poopy weather, actually, perfect weather, don't have to worry about any wind, probably what I will do is take ourselves a little south of the airport and then land on like maybe a runway 36 or 01 or we'll see when we get there should have looked it up like I said you purists you're just gritting your teeth right now aren't you everything's pretty good um, I'm probably using too much fuel Mix this down a little bit more it's kind of because you have to pay for the fuel um, that's the other thing. You rent the plane and you have to, uh, you have to make sure your plane is fueled up appropriately. You have to, uh, do maintenance on your plane once you buy one. And so you use all your hot virtual dollars to do that. And this is the quiet part of the flight. This is the part I would probably edit out in time. Everything's pretty solid. Um, no need for autopilot. I mean, really, for a 30-minute flight, you're going to do autopilot. The funny part of all that is that I about just knocked my coffee cup off my desk. <laughs> is that the equivalent of, like, knocking your coffee out the plane window? I think it would be. I think so. <laughs> so what have I been doing? What have I been up to? I've been, uh, well, I switched jobs. And that took up quite a bit of time uh, between that and the holidays. Uh, way to lose a bunch of time here by going off course, Yodi. Good job. We're with you. Um, so that took up a lot of time. I'd really hope to do more videos like this, but uh, didn't didn't quite happen that way. Um, I've been playing, I've uh, been having a lot of fun playing The Long Dark. 
and I'll probably do some videos of that as well because that is a lot of fun to play if you're into uh, starving to death and freezing to death. Um, picked up Crusader Kings on the Steam sale, so I might do some Crusader Kings once I figure it out in the monstrosity of the game that it is. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing Flight Bits. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with it for a while because I really enjoy it. Um, and then I've been thinking about doing some Minecraft. I've got a whole schedule planned for this game channel, so hopefully we'll get some organization going and get some calm, calmer, calmer waters, calmer air for me to uh, do some gaming and uh, broadcast it. I've tried to live stream, and I might eventually do some Twitch streams with the flights, but uh, at this point I just don't see how it's possible. Uh, I'm having some problems with again with my, my upload. I tried it this morning and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I already have a crappy frame rate, but it doesn't cut out or, or uh, glitch on me, so that was good. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we're losing some altitude. I uh, may do that, may not. I do like I do like streaming, but uh, I think we'll stick to YouTube vids for now. Uh, I might stream long stream long dark if I can do that. Uh, and there's always Skyrim. It's always it's always there waiting to be played. One day I'll get back to Decos. One day. How you ladies doing back there? Yeah? Doing well? How was Mardi Gras? Yeah, you had fun. Yeah? Good, good, good. That's great. Um, you're looking a little pale there in the back seat. You're going to be okay? There's a... Yeah, right down down there, there's a, there's a bag. You can use it. I'd rather use the bag than... Uh, yeah, the windows don't open. Please don't. Yeah. Okay. How you doing? Yeah. All right. It helps to talk to the passengers. Makes them feel more calm. Like you know what you're doing. So when you uh, totally screw up, they don't freak out as much. Yeah. <sighs> right. Epic angle. Epic angle. Dun, 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 dun. Fly my plane. Buh, 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 duh. Is that, is that me? Look at me. Do I have a, yeah, look at me, look at, I, I've shaved. Nice. Alright. I wonder if you can fix that guy. Get in there and like, give him like, a boonie hat and like, a huge beard and like, flannel shirt. There's gotta be a way. I'll have to look it up. So not nearly as exciting as Skyrim, I will admit that. Um, but the joy I've had, well, of course much. Um, the joy I've had with this is the mental challenge of it. Um, the fact that I absolutely love planes. Uh, let's see, let's turn let's get the GPS back on. My GPS keeps popping off every time I, uh, yeah, wow, good job. Uh, every time I switch views. And I can't find a quick, quick, quick key, so sometimes I'll do this. Bom, 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 bom. Just turn it on if I'm busy with uh, trying to do that whole flying thing. Uh, well, I'm just making a mess of this. Lost 500 feet. Jerking around. Jerking around. So if I don't want to turn off my uh, mouse yoke, I'll go this route. Kind of ruins the immersion a little bit, but hey. I mean, there's always this. You know, it's kind of hard to stay immersed when you're doing something like this, right? Anyway, what was I saying? I, uh, I love planes. I absolutely just love them to death. I love vintage planes. Um, I even entertained at one point the, the, the possibility of getting some flying lessons. Uh, though after you watch this video, you may uh, give me money not to. That'd be fine with me. Um, <laughs> uh, Love the old warbirds. There is actually on FS Economy you can't. Wow, I'm just come on. What's what's going on here? There are uh, old biplanes you can fly. Uh, I'm looking at buying a Cessna Bobcat, which is an old 1930s uh, plane that uh, would be really cool to fly for vintage stuff. But you know, I'm 
kind of, as far as people who, who play this game, I'm, I'm actually a, a broke little newbie. Kind of the equivalent of like a third level thief. <laughs> uh, who can't seem to, wow, I'm just, let's, let's get some, let's get some altitude here. I'm just kind of jerking around, talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. And that's why I like this game, because you can't really get distracted. Things happen. And they're not good things. You'll just be yammering along or not paying attention. The next thing you know, you're flying over someplace dangerous or your nose down in the ground. All right, so there's the airport over here on the... Uh, get my pointer back right there. So I'm going to go ahead and... traffic for it. I normally don't do this, but it gives you guys an idea. And I'm going to land on 1.8. Or no, I'm going to land on 3.6. What was I saying? And full stop landing. And we'll announce our position. Yada, yada, yada. So we're still a couple minutes out. I don't really need to gain a whole bunch of altitude since I'm going to be coming down here shortly, but it is somewhere over there. <laughs> I know exactly where I'm going. Don't question me. I'm the pilot. I'm the pilot. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm Brock Samson. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll try not to do that again. Or maybe you, maybe I could do a whole flight as Brock Sampson. I think it would be. I think that would get really old pretty quickly. Just saying. Good chance of that. All right. So there's the airport. A little bit closer than I wanted to be. That's fun. So, so uh, ladies, the next few minutes, uh, please don't scream. It may be terrifying, but don't scream. This is gonna be a little hot. I may have to do a uh, do a loop and uh, bring this sucker down a different way. I don't know. We'll try it. If nothing else, I'll do a go around. Yeah, why not? Completely embarrass myself on a first flight. Uh, that chatter is for a different airport, so we're not gonna worry about it. I bet I can nail this. I can nail this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Not a problem. Okay, now that I know where I am in space and time. Oh yeah, maybe I don't have this. Woohoo! Yeah, that Yodi Dan, he's a complete embarrassment. Do not fly with him. I repeat, do not fly. Here is up for water landing. Yep. Nothing to panic about, ladies. Nothing to panic about. Well, this is one of the worst approaches of my entire life. No, actually, I've had some really crap approaches. <clears throat> See, no problem. Remember, no screaming. Gotta love that frame rate. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Love it so much. I'm offline. God, shut up. A little bit more juice here. He's all crooked and whopper jawed. And no, you're not gonna die, ma'am. Completely fine. I'm a skilled pilot. I have hundreds of hours on this game. Yeah, it's a game. I told you that. You're not real. All right, here we go. A little hot. There we go. No problem. Dropping it right in. A little short of the runway. No, we're not. That's there we go. 
perfect. A little, little hot, little, uh, crap. I didn't like that. See, I was goofing around. That's what happens when you goof around in a plane. But hey, we made it. Something I do like to do, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, I like to do this. So I can be like, wow, did you see that horrible thing you just did? Let's watch it again. As you can see, came in a little hot. Oh, thanks for the trees. Yeah. Well, that didn't go well. Anyway, you get the idea. If those trees weren't in the way. Um, and actually, what we're going to do here, let's do this. Let's go back and do it again. 30 second replay, and we'll take it from the side view. Zoom it out a little bit. Uh, that, that'll work. Not, yeah, okay. Not as bad as it looked. I was still a little hot. I didn't like that, but. All right, back to flying. You talk about an immersion killer, right? <laughs> he keeps jumping around the dang resin present thing. All right, we are down. And uh, we're gonna go over here and get off the runway. Taxi to a good spot to drop these people off. Ta-da! Thank you for flying Yodi Den Airlines. Actually, uh, I'm actually thinking about creating a group that is, if you, I have a blog post actually about some of the fun stuff I'm doing with FS, FS Economy and uh, Flight Sim along with some solo gaming stuff. And uh, I'll, put the, I'll put the link down. It's a little gaming blog I have. Uh, and you can check out what I did. It was a it's a very fun, it's probably one of the most memorable flights I've had that I created up. The, it was a clandestine uh, flight into and out of Cuba. And I, uh, luckily the weather was good, but I had to keep it at treetop level for a very long time. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I wish I would have recorded that. So I'll have to do something similar again. And I include you in some of the adventures that I've got coming up. And I'll talk about that maybe on the next flight. That sounds like a good idea. Um, we'll coordinate it with the blog. Wow, totally missed that, didn't I? Yes, good thing I've got a bush plane. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good job, good job. Stay awesome. All right. Since uh, I have crap graphics and you can't see the lovely airport that's probably really here, uh, it's all invisible. It's all invisible. I'm going to bring this down to a sh stopping point and hit the brakes and that will log our flight. Now you probably won't see that. It won't pop up on the video recorder, but it pops up a window that says uh, that my flight has been logged and it'll pause the game. And I'll do a quick video here and show you uh, what that looks like. All right, everybody, we're back on the FS Economy. And as you can see, I have got uh, this flight booked. These are all the flights that I have flown. And some of these I probably, I most certainly on some of these, especially the hour ones, flew with the uh, acceleration on. I only do two uh, times two times four. Basically speeds everything up. Once you get into level flight and you can just, I don't do it very often, but on the longer flights, I have very limited time to fly a lot of times. So I, I have to keep it to short little hops. Uh, but 47 miles took an hour and a half. That can't be right. Um, and then if you view this, it gives you a rundown. I made five thousand dollars, actually five thousand five hundred and twelve to be exact. But uh, here's my fuel cost and the ground crew fee. And overall, I made four thousand. So uh, helping me, helping me along. So that's that. That's flight sim economy. Kind of gives you an idea. Um, if I go to my log, I can go back to my airport where I'm at Stennis International and uh, there's only two folks that want to fly back to New Orleans and I will have to look and see if there's any other flights in this area over here to see if anybody wants to go somewhere else that uh, I can make a little bit more money on because two people in an eight person plane uh, just doesn't seem very econo economical. So, 
I'll do all that. If I'm ready to fly another flight, I will. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to throw me a like and uh, or a comment or just say hello. Uh, Going to be doing more flights like this, and I promise I'll get into some other games soon. Uh, thanks a lot. It's good to be back, and uh, welcome to the Friendly Skies with the Airborne, Airborne Yodi. Bye.